Hi. Well, I know that I'm speaking to a world that doesn't care, doesn't, doesn't listen very well, doesn't have much empathy for others. But I will pursue anyway. I'll walk on. So, yeah, I had, I had a rant earlier. Well, I'm rant, but no rant. The beach rant, like, I don't even know what's in me yet. It's, it's definitely more than one contention. So, anyway, I called my mom. She's always there. I asked her if my dad could come over and not, not <laughs> put an emergency siren on the car or anything like that, but you know, I, I just let her know the problem after I calmed down <laughs> and thought about it. And, well, yeah, she said that he would, she would talk to him and most likely he'll come and help me get the pilot light lit. <laughs> that was kind of like a tongue twister. <laughs> but, you know, I, I need to remember to cling to my faith and to know that it's going to be okay. But, who the problem is, is I'm stuck in a hurt. I'm, I'm, I was in a process, and it's a continual, everyday process, and it suddenly stopped, and it was after a peroxide and Epsom bath, which means seizures and a lot of crazy things. So, also, my circulation is doing the weirdest things, like Raynaud's syndrome, except it also involves my whole body. It is weird. I, I go, my body temperature, it's, it just goes dead, like a dead person, like it's beyond cold. And my Raynaud's, um, but it's, it's not just in my fingers and my feet, not just in my toes, it's everywhere. And uh, that means I need, I need warm water now. It's an emergency. So that's why that's why I freaked out. That's one of the reasons, just one of the reasons why I freaked out the way I did. Because I know what can happen in the blink of an eye. I know that things can just suddenly change and well, I, I've got to stay ahead with the detox, or if I slip back, I, I might as well start all over. <laughs> and I work so hard to stay ahead and to be smart and to outsmart these things inside of me. <laughs> and, you know, that that might never happen, but it's... It has made me feel better, and I know what it's done for me. I know, I know darn well what it's done for me. So if that process is interrupted, oh man, that could that could send me into the emergency room. And man, I don't want to be there. I don't want to have to go to the hospital just because I don't have access to warm water. Now, if I would have known. This is, I mean, remember that this, this happened as soon as I woke up. So there was no warning. If I would have known previously, I would have boiled, boiled up some water and I would have had some warm water ready for them to clean at least, you know, the, the important parts. <laughs> we all need to clean every day. Um, but there was, 
there was no time for it. There was no warning. It, it, I was stuck, and it felt like I was chained up in every way possible, in every single way. And that is a bad feeling to just be trapped. And it's always, that's, for me, that is a continual feeling every day. I am so trapped that you really feel trapped when you when I run out of Epsom, oh my gosh, uh that's that's an emergency. It's I gotta have it. If not, it's gonna cost more money. It's gonna send me to the hospital with people who do not understand. They want no part of it. They can't have any part of it. They've signed contracts that they were given a choice and it was maybe back in 2010 I don't don't mark my memory because you know it sucks but um, they, they had a contract that they had to sign and well the majority of the doctors they signed the contract and they have to work for the IDSA they have to follow their rules and uh, that's why we need to go to LLMDs in the first place, as you m must know already. So, yeah, just just knowing that that my dad is coming over. Well, now now I can let go of that that worry that was just going crazy in my brain. Just the same thought, fear running over and over and over like millions of times in my brain that's that's what we do when we're worrying but when you put lime into it and other things it just goes wild it's just it goes wild it is not natural <laughs> it's not natural it's not normal so anyway um Thanks for letting me rant. You too. At least it's not my mom that has to listen to that. Yeah. Other people around me. You know, just let it be YouTube instead. <laughs> and let it let it be helpful to at least just one person. That's even one person. It, it would make me so happy. I'll talk to you guys later.